Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And as you could maybe tell from the thumbnail picture, my basket's completely overflowing. I've reshoveled it a bit so it doesn't completely fall, but like it's all the way to the top. So it's been a minute since I've filmed one of these. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So I actually have a fragrance flower to talk about and it is the vanilla bean buttercream. I was just going to say vanilla bean and I was like, that's not right. Um, it's the vanilla bean buttercream in the buttercup bell style of flower. So if you're unfamiliar with fragrance flowers, they're basically like prettier reed diffusers in my opinion. Um, the vanilla bean buttercream fragrance flower, I've used this before at work and it has thrived currently at my house it's like not thriving it's just not doing as well as i remember it doing at work and i don't know if that's just because i have a lot more scent at my house like at work it's a very low scented area um so i'm wondering if that's part of it i've moved it around a couple of different places to just see if like anything's happening um but the fragrance flower at work is almost out I keep one just in like the women's bathroom. We don't have any plugs in there. It just keeps it a little bit fresher. Um, so I might take it there. Transporting them is kind of hard because they're full of oil. Um, but I might try to take it to the office and just see. I'd rather it be somewhere where I like get more life out of it. So it can't possibly hurt by any means. Um, so yeah, kind of bummed currently, but I'm going to try to rotate it and see if it does any better. Okay, let's talk about some stacks of bars. So I don't know any sort of order <laughs> that I did these in, um, but we're just going to go for it. So I have this stack of bars right here, which is Pina Colada Cha Cha. I was just craving. I was like, I haven't done something like really fun and summery, like some of my summer staples, I feel like I haven't warmed yet. And so I was like, you know what? I just need to bust some of those out. So I was like, I am going to, I, I don't know why Pina Colada Cha Cha was like in my head. I, I think I, I don't know. I go through my locks collection a lot. So Pina Colada Cha Cha was in my head. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pull out a bar and I'm just gonna do it. Um. So I did this whole bar in the open concept, but this is basically a pina colada. Like it just smells like pineapple and coconut. It smells so good. Um, this one is going away at the end of the month of August. It's going away with the spring summer catalog. So definitely will be going in my club, but I was like, I haven't done this all summer long, so I need to bust it out. Um, and then <laughs> most recently, like a couple days ago, I made a list of all the bars I wanna try to use before summer's over, like Havana Cabana. And I made a list. I can't think of them off the top of my head besides Havana Cabana, I don't know why. But some of the summer staples that I'm like, why did I not use those yet this summer? Or like some of the new releases I still hadn't tried yet. So those are all on my list. Uh, discontinued, but Tahitian Twilight. I only have two lonely cubes of this left. So I'm trying to finish up some of these like miscellaneous clams. So I use this one in the bedroom, but it's really strong in the bedroom. It's kind of like a floral, fresh scent. It's like not entirely floral, but it's a little bit floral, a little bit fresh, but it's just really, really strong. So I enjoy it. But sometimes it's a bit much when you're trying to like wind down for bed. Um, and then I also did white out. I actually did this downstairs in the man cave. And I gotta say, I originally was like not that impressed with this scent. But last time I did it, so like this current warm, I felt like it is minty. But I almost got this like pine, woody, like something woodsy and wintry almost about it like not wintry in the fact that it's cold because it smells minty but like a tree woody piney type situation and I really enjoyed that so I might actually put this in my like winter stash um which I mean feels probably more appropriate anyway based on like the name and its scent notes but I was thinking like it's minty I'll do it on a hot day and it'll be like cooling and refreshing but as it kept going like days and days 
I've been kind of bad about changing my wax during this little stint. So some of these went for quite a while. Um, but as this one went on for like days and days, I was like, I feel like it's almost a fall winter scent. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put that one in uh, more of my like fall stash. Okay, and then another set I have here, my open concept warm. I did Mad for Melon. I used up this whole clam. I really like this one. I have this one in my club, but I think I might take it out. It's basically like a melon fruity scent mixed with a floral scent. And I used to really like, it came out at the same time as Mega Splash. And so in my head, they're kind of correlated, even though they're really not, but they just like got launched in the same catalog. So for a while there, I really liked Make a Splash. Then I used Make a Splash in like cleaning or body or something that I like absolutely did not like. So I really don't like Make a Splash anymore. But then I got turned on to this because they're kind of, like I said, to me, they're kind of correlated. And so I was really loving this. But this last time I warmed it, I just don't, I don't know. It just like wasn't quite for me. So I think I'm going to take it out of my club if it's still in there. I feel like it might be for some reason. If it's not great, if it is, it's probably going to get booted. Um, okay. And then I did Honeymoon Hideaway. I did this in the bedroom. I have four cubes of it left. I told you guys I did this at work and it like barely smelled. I did this in the bedroom. It smelled better, but still not quite as strong as I want it to. Um, I got this in January. Like that's still quite a bit ago. I don't know. I feel like I just want more oomph from this. So I might do these last four cubes. I might split it up half between the downstairs and half between the bedroom and see like, can I smell it better in one place than the other like if it's going at the same time so i really love this scent but if i don't find a place for it to perform for me fairly soon that's gonna be a situation <laughs> i don't want to keep it if i can't smell it anywhere so we'll see um and then i actually have a bar of orchard by the sea but i also have a brick of orchard by the sea um this scent I don't know why. Oh, I think I had a bar because Corey really wanted some of these. So I was getting them in club. And so I put the bar aside for him. He started using it. It was open. I'm like, we're going to finish this. I've actually, since I've done this and I've also worked on the brick of it, um, I feel like I've actually kind of come around to this scent. It gives me a little bit of apple. It gives me a little bit of like sea, beachy sort of vibes but it's also a little bit woodsy and I don't feel like I recognize the woodsiness when it was originally launched. Like I was kind of just like, this is like salty sea air and apple, which I don't really feel quite like it's salty sea air, but like in my head, that's what I was associating with. And I just didn't really like that. So originally I think this bar specifically I did in the downstairs, which is the Corey's man cave, if you will. Um, and every time I went down there, I'm like, okay, like this scent's actually not bad. I kind of like it. Like what's going on here? And then I remembered this is what was going and I'm like, no, no, no. Okay. I don't like that scent. So that just must be a fluke. So then also when I ended up doing the brick, I was like, okay, is this good? Is this bad? I ended up putting it downstairs and in the bedroom and I actually really enjoyed it. Like I said, I feel like a lot more of that woodsiness kind of came out which helped a lot because I feel like it wasn't salty sea air. It wasn't just only apple and it wasn't just those two blended. It kind of had this like deeper, almost manly vibe. And so I was definitely vibing with that. So W on these, I don't believe these are in our club anymore because I really kind of like axed, not that I axed all Corey scents. I axed a lot of scents and I was like, what is your bare minimum you're keeping, you know? And so I think we gave that one the boot. I'm pretty positive. Um, cause we have this brick. Do we have another brick? Possibly. We have plenty of it. Okay. And then this is actually the stack that's going right now. So in the open concept, I have peachy and palm trees. This one to me is a very like plum, deep berry, heavy, fruity scent. So I, more so associate this with like summer to fall transition just because I feel like it's so deep berry 
yeah, it's just so, <laughs> it's like such a deep berry scent, not like a fun fruity scent. It's like a deep fruity scent. So to me, it feels like plummy, almost like transitioning into the fall. And you might be like, okay, but it's the beginning of August. Like, didn't you say you wanted to get through your summer scents? I don't understand. So we actually kind of have a cold front going through right now. It's actually getting a little stormy outside. Um, but it's going to be go from like, it was like mid nineties last week. And this week it's going to be like mid seventies. So it's like a 20 degree difference. So it's definitely feeling cooler. <laughs> um, and because of that, I was like, okay, instead of popping in like my Pina Colada Cha Cha's Havana Cabanas, I'm just going to lean into that a little bit and pop in the peach and palm trees. I know the hot weather will come back. It'll swing back around because it's only August. Like that'd be weird if it didn't. Not that I'm not saying I'm not ready for fall because I really am, but I want to use up some other summer stuff. And so when it comes back around that hot weather, then I'll pop that stuff in. But I was just really feeling, feeling the like deep berry segue into fall. It was making me feel very like falls on its way here. So I'm enjoying that. Um, and then I wanted to test out this. This is Crazy Coconut. I tested this originally when it came back and bring back my bar a couple times ago. Um, but I wanted to test it some more because I specifically had set it aside for summer. On cold, this smells like Play-Doh or something so artificial. Like I just, I, the smell is so nostalgic, but I can't think of what the smell is. But it's like something plasticky, play doh -y, like something like that. So I've been really nervous to put this back in. Because um, I really like coconut and messing with my coconut like that is just rude. Um, so I did it in the bedroom and downstairs. I split up a couple of cubes and it's not so bad. I'm not obsessed with it, but I feel like that play doh is like whatever the smell I don't like on cold is kind of going away when it's forming. So I'm dealing with it. I clearly have enough cubes to use. I'm like, will I even warm this full bar? Like, will I have to get rid of this and like gift it to somebody because, but it's not so bad. Um, and then I haven't done this one in so long. I was just craving it. I needed to bust it back out. It's birthday wishes. I put in two cubes of this in my kitchen morning warmer. Hello, birthday cake. It is just a birthday cake scent. This is in my club. It's so good. Oh, I was just missing it. I was really missing it. And I needed some wax in my morning warmer. So I was like, birthday wishes. You never steer me wrong. You never steer me wrong. So uh, next, let's continue talking about um, the collection that went along with Orchard by the Sea because I also worked on all of those bricks. So this has been quite a while ago. This has probably been three weeks ago, maybe minimum that I worked on these. So <laughs> My memory might be a little bit questionable. Um, but anyway, we have pink apple and nectarine. I feel like I did this one in the bedroom. I swear somebody commented and told me that this reminds them of Luna. But now that feels wrong. I But it, maybe, maybe I could maybe see that. I, to me, this is just like a very a uh, florally fruity feminine scent but I could maybe see what they're going uh with the comparison to Luna it's definitely strong <laughs> in my bedroom it was one of those like perfumey kind of heady scents where you're like okay I'm getting ready for bed I'm turning off the warmers versus Luna I feel like I could almost let go 24 7 like even overnight just because it's like so warm and comforting maybe that's just a mindset thing so anyway I do like this um once again I have this brick I probably have another brick plenty to go around. Uh, did Beach Daisy. Pretty sure I did this one in the open concept because this is my favorite from that collection. This just reminds me of like spring into summer. It's so like floral, but for some reason it has like, I mean, I guess it's called Beach Daisy. It has like just a summery beachy feel to it, but it's still a floral. So like, I don't, I don't know what's pulling out that beachiness, but like maybe some fruit or something. I don't know what, but it, it kind of, if you really think about it, it's like a little bit kids hairspray shampoo vibe, 
but it's really pretty. It's a really pretty summery. I feel like it's a spring into summer floral. Yes, I said I did it a couple weeks ago, but that's just because it's in my brick rotation. I'm trying to get through my bricks. Um, and then I also worked on Summerberry Melon, which I just don't love this scent. I really don't. It's not terrible, but something about the berry in here, or maybe something is like a little off. It's almost like the berry or the fruity part smells citrusy, like acidic or something like that. It's not terrible, but it's just not my favorite. So <laughs> it was like my put this downstairs in Gory's man cave, see if he complains type of scent. You understand. Um, and then when I did the Orchard by the Sea, I also did Skinny Dippin'. And for a minute I was like, wait, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. I did these two cues down here, which feels really backwards. But um, I was originally going to do some small cubes because I these, this isn't a brick that I've cut up already. Um, because I got it last July. That doesn't mean it shouldn't be cut. But anyway, I hadn't cut it. So I was like breaking it apart. And then I finally broke down and just cut these two in half anyway. So it didn't even matter. But I ended up doing this in my open concept. This is like melons, apples, like fruity things like that. And it's really nice. So, um, I happy that I have this brick because I don't know that this is one that I would club. I feel like this is available in the current catalog and it's discontinuing at the end of the month, but you can get this brick in Sensi Club, which is just what I do because I don't know. I enjoy it when I do, but I don't need a bar of it every single quarter. So there's my situation with that. Okay. And then we have vendor wax to talk about. Let's just talk about this really quickly. This is well, okay, I, I have Yankee Candle Vanilla Cupcake in the wax, and I guess I actually also burned it in the candle. What's up with my, like, double inception Orchard Red Sea? Now we have this. I don't know what's going on, but the wax melts, I used just one, and <laughs> this poor thing, uh, this just did not work in my warmer um, because it just didn't get hot enough. Like, my warmer, this wax is way too hard for my warmer, so what I'm going to do with this, I don't know. I maybe, if I have like a um, vanilla scent that I'm going to crock, I might just like pop these in with it, honestly, just to get use out of them because I don't really want to like pull out another warmer just to warm these five cubes. They're also like not that scented. So like, I'd rather just use them up in like a casual way like that. Um, they're from January of 2022. So like, they've maybe seen better days. Um, but let's just talk about the candle while we're at it. Sorry, we're bouncing back and forth. But I don't know if I've burned a Yankee candle in like years. I just, I remember like my mom always had a Yankee candle. And I'm trying to think if I've even ever had a Yankee candle. Or if I have, it's had to have been ages like I, I don't even almost don't even know if I have like maybe I'm thinking of candles at her house because she loved Yankee like she really loved Yankee candle um I mean she's probably still would but it closed out of our mall so anyway um yeah I burned this it actually I put a after I, I did on a like weekend day I was home because I was just like I don't know if this is going to, I feel like everybody talks about them tunneling. And so I was like, I just want to like really make sure it pulls out all the way on its first go. Um, so I let it go for maybe two hours and then it wasn't quite pulled out. And then I put an Illumilid on it. Um, I think that's what they're called. Like the little cover thing. And then in like 15 minutes it pulled out. So I was like, okay, I'll probably just start with that next time. Um, because I feel like I could like put it on, let it pull out, take it back off with something like a oven mitt because it's so hot because it's near the flame. So please be careful. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like this was fine. I really just burned it more for like nostalgia than scent. I did it in the bathroom um, because like, I mean, I don't feel like these put out a ton of fragrance. So yeah, like I said, it was for nostalgia, not really for scent. That's why I feel like this is just going to go popped into something else. Okay, let's talk about Rose Girls. 
Um, we have, I finished up Rose Girls A Sweet Princess Party in Vendor Wax. Finally, I love it. And then I have been working on these two. So I have Cookie Land and Star Beans Cafe. So you'll probably be seeing these quite a bit over the next, I don't know, six weeks and whatever. This is like nine uh, or eight weeks, whatever. Well, however many cubes are left. I typically just use like one cube at a time because these are her Mario Melter. So they're bigger. Love both of these scents. Um, these are both from December of 2021 and they've been performing really good, but I wanna keep an emphasis on using them. So they are staying in my rotation. And then let's just segue right into candles. So I actually have Kringle Donut Worry in my candle crock. And I actually moved my candle crock to kind of like the corner edge island of, well, it's not an island, I guess if it's connected. Um, like the corner bar area of our kitchen, kind of like right between our kitchen and dining. And I just feel like there's really good airflow there and it kind of like circulates throughout the whole open concept, but not like in an overpowering way. It, I've used my candle crock a lot more. So I'm really happy about that. Um, but I have crinkle donut worry in there. And so that's been going wonderful. Um, I'm about probably halfway down that one. And I was just like, I'm gonna crock it. I don't know, I just, what do I say? Uh, but anyway. Kringle Vanilla Cone, I actually had worked on it burned maybe once or twice. I don't, I don't know. Um, I worked on this a little bit though. So burned Vanilla Cone. I feel like you can't even hardly tell because the wax is so high. These Kringle jars are just so massive. Um, this has been my morning burn. I've been doing hot fudge drizzle and actually I feel like this, um, it's a little bit discolored, but I actually, um, I did it this morning for just like an hour as I was getting ready and it fully pulled out. So I feel like I'm going to try to keep doing that as the week goes on just to kind of like work through my candles a little bit more because I feel like that is my weak spot right now. Like I'm getting through wax I need to keep it up with candles. So um, I think this one I'm actually gonna light up right after I'm done filming. It is the red, white, and blue cake. This one's having like a small amount of pooling trouble, but I feel like it has the that wick situation. Like the wicks are a little stubby and maybe like on the edge of a little bit dudding out, but I don't feel like it's quite ready to go in the crock. It could be maybe on my up next list. No, I actually have something to show you that's on my up next, maybe in line after that. I have this that's also in line to go in the crock, but it's kind of, it's summer boardwalk. I feel like that's kind of a fall scent, so I'm not ready to put it in yet. Maybe this would have been a good week to do it. But anyway, I've worked a little bit on this. This is just like a deep berry scent. So once again, I'm like trying to use it, but it feels kind of fall to me. Okay, and then I did want to share, you, share with you or show you this. This is my Homeworks Lemon Cello Cupcake, which I actually am getting ready to put in the crock. So you might be like, well, where's the rest of the candle? Um, it, this is like the height it was at, if you will. Like this is how much of it I had left. Maybe like right here. Um, I actually popped this whole thing in the freezer. As you can see, this is like loose. Um, but what I do, because this won't fit in my crock, I actually just like transport it into a Bath & Body Works jar. This just happens to be Kiwi Starfruit Cooler, which I have been using frequently. Um, so I put a lot, I mean, I have the wick clips on and everything. I just put it in the freezer, dump it upside down. It generally breaks into chunks and then I put them in here. Um, but as you can see, because this jar is significantly smaller, I could only fit two of the chunks comfortably. I mean, I could put this other one on top, but like then you start to have this action and I don't want anything over the edge that would like melt over the sides. So typically what I will do is just like put this in the crock and then within like 30 minutes, maybe not even as it like starts to melt down, it'll start to make space and I'll just put this right on top. Like they, there will be room for it but I just don't want to leave it in there unsupervised to start with. So I just have it like this to start. And then, I mean, there's a lot of free space in there as you can tell, but as it just like continues to go down, it will fix itself. So that is what I do with my homeworks candle. Somebody left me that comment maybe like two years ago, maybe even longer. And they were like, I just pop my homeworks candles into 
the freezer and then pop them out and use them in my coffee. And it totally has changed my mindset about that. Like it makes it so easy. So those are all the things I have to share with you guys today. Let me know what you guys have been warming down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.